today we're back at Barton's Discounts. We're gonna look for some pallets, look for some furniture, see if we can find some cool stuff to buy. We're up here and I've got the wife with me right now. She's checking it out. And I'm actually filming this on my brand new GoPro that I purchased, so be patient on this if it's not perfectly audio and video. We're just doing like a little test run with just the GoPro today to see, see how it works in low light, high light, and super lights. Super lights. I'm super, in super lights. lights. Super lights. <laughs> so we're about to go into this building right here. Check it out and let's go see what we can find. Open up today until four o'clock. A few more hours, like two, two hours left, and they'll be closed. One, one hour and they'll be closed. <laughs> yeah, it is one hour left. That's all we got. The free coffee area. Should should we get a shopping cart, you think? No shopping cart? Not yet. Okay. We'll come back to the shopping cart if we need one. Oh, okay. You know, plan to buy a whole bunch of stuff? I mean, I might. Well, now we're gonna check out the furniture. She's looking for like a new desk for her office because we've got some working that we need to yes, do. Yes, we do. I'm so, in my office. So you guys might see me in a completely different space um, from what I have been recording. So, yeah, so she's looking look forward for to that change. Like an L-shaped kind of a desk. See if we can find it here. If not, she found a couple online that you might want to check out, but see what they got here. We didn't see any desks, so they actually only had a couple. So we're gonna check out these pallets, see what kind of pallets we can find today. Cause I got an email a couple days ago, they got in these new BIP pallets and supposedly have all kinds of interesting stuff on them. Here's a lighting pallet, Home Depot. Two seventy five. this is actually a salvage pallet too. So since they're calling this a salvage, that means a lot of this stuff in here could potentially be broken. It might not be fixable. Some of these things will only be sold for parts because you're buying a salvage pallet. So whenever you see salvage, just know that you might have a lot of work ahead of you of fixing things and parting stuff out. I had to cut out the audio here because of background music was way too loud. So didn't want to get the copyright strike. But we're just looking at some pallets here, a lot of their pink wrap VIP pallets. They've got probably a dozen rows, nothing but these huge pallets. They're honestly stacked, most times like eight feet high of all kinds of products. Here you got, you see those large boxes on top. Those are actually are from Lowe's, so that should be like a Lowe's pallet. Most of these pallets, like here's a pallet for $375, another $375. You really can't really see too well into the pink wrap. So it makes it kind of difficult to kind of gauge how well these pallets might do because a lot of these items are repackaged in other boxes. So even though the box might just be like a general purpose box, but what's inside could be anything. Here's the top of a pallet, kind of showing you what's available. This like a top looks like lots of furniture on that. And a lot of these labels in these boxes, by looking at it, you can't really tell what's going to be in that box. Like, you know, like this box is fragile. But here is actually like a little write-on car for a child. That's actually pretty cool. Like that's easy money right there. Those things sell very quickly, pretty easily. But sell them locally. It's easier than having to ship that thing out. But these pallets actually are pretty, are, they're interesting pallets. I mean, they're eight, eight feet tall. Look, I mean, like that one looks like a TV stand on top. You can still see that, that white strap around the box, which means it's still factory strapped from the manufacturer. Now we're in kind of like the clearance pallet section. Everything in this section at Barton's is 25% off of the marked price, which makes all these prices absolutely fantastic. A lot of these are actually Home Depot lighting pallets. And I think prices range about like 325, 350 in that range. But if you're looking for any kind of lighting, if you're into construction or anything like that, Home Depot pallets are pretty much a gold mine for you. But here we go, I stumbled upon a grocery pallet. You know how grocery pallets are a lot of fun. And this one, if I remember correctly, the price was 450. But this was in the clearance section, so it was 25% off of that. And this had a total of 24 large banana boxes on it full of grocery items. Marked $8.88 down to $4.50 with another 25% off of that. I actually just come upon a grocery pallet here. So this is very exciting. So I might have to actually swipe this pallet because it's got a total of 18 boxes on here. For, or no, it's a total of, yeah, 18 boxes for $450. And I usually do quite well with grocery pallets. I never bought a grocery pallet from Barton's though. So this one will be a first one from this place. I am buying this pallet. It is coming home with me, guaranteed. 
So walking around, I came upon possibly the greatest palette ever, an entire palette of Clorox cleaning supplies for only 50 bucks. This is a large watermelon type of palette, crazy price, 50 bucks. So now I've got to show my wife my grocery find. She is so excited. Here's a little bit more higher end palette, 475. Who knows what could be on this one? You know, it could be a really cool hodgepodge. You know, then you got, you know, you're going back to like the $300 range, if I can, if I can see correctly. But the variety here, I mean, you can go as low as, uh, well, that was like two, two fifty. You can go as high as almost 500 bucks on pallets here. I mean, just it's just how much that you're willing to gamble, and your gamble might pay off really, really well. So the wife might have found a pallet possibly. This one is 25% off of the price. Checking this thing out to see if it's something that she might want to purchase for her own channel. You always say that. How you doing? Yeah, you got your famous man. Everybody come here, they talk about you though. Yeah. Built-in oven, an There's ice an oven, bar. Ice bar. Pallets 450 bucks. You're like, yeah, the guys like small home appliances. Here's a it says coffee table. Coffee table, built-in oven. Interesting pallet right there. That's what I'm We got some stuff on there. Stuff. Might be kind of intriguing. But like with these kind of pallets, I mean it is a complete mystery. Because, I mean, you're buying this thing blind, and you might have, like, a freaking pool table in one of these boxes. Hey, what's up, oh, man? Hey. How are you guys? So good. How are you? You're good. Living the dream. Man. Nice Living to see you. You too. Yeah. Well, whenever you walk in the building, I have, like, five people, like, <laughs> the YouTubers here. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I'll talk to them. It's okay. need a walker. If you're trying to find a walker, or there's a walker. I actually need a walker. Here's a roll away. Folding bed twin. No, or one of those that enjoy or one of those, one of those truck things that might just be like replacement parts yeah. or replacement wheels maybe or something. So we found a pallet with a treadmill on it. There's not a very big box, so this might be a much smaller kind of treadmill, but there is a treadmill in this box. I mean that treadmill right there might be worth, you know, three, four, five hundred bucks maybe. Might be a decent, decent find right there. A motorized treadmill, Magnetic 375. Bike. Look like the, so these pallets here have some like exercise equipment on them. Like you can see, and it says magnetic oh, yeah. bike. Magnetic on bike. It. Oh, it says it's a dream home, and the box is gargantuan. Here's another motorized treadmill. There's like two of them. Two more treadmills on that one. Oh, it's just something about a dream home. Furniture something. Furniture some dream home on that pallet. That pallet's been here since June or July 30th pallet is four hundred twenty-five dollars. Dining, chair. Dining chairs. That pallet there looks like that's actually a pretty good one for like home goods and freaking two treadmills. You have a treadmill upstairs and a treadmill downstairs. There's a U-Haul box. Like here's a total mystery box. Somebody sent it back in just a U-Haul box. Here's some more. Here's another treadmill. There's a lot of treadmills here right now. We got a luggage pallet. Five hundred twenty-five dollars. Looks like a pure luggage pallet. I've never seen one of these before. That's very different. Here we've got, ooh, looks like this one's a Home Depot pallet. $575, all Home Depot. You've got wet dry vac. Oh, here's a nice, nice metal rack. Looks like the wife found another food pallet over there too. We'll to check, check that out and see what that looks like. Here's another Home Depot pallet. You got more wet dry vacs. You got freaking four of them on there. Pass 400 bucks. Down here, large TV picture box. Here's another, an entire a luggage pallet. $725, roughly about two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 pieces on that side. And the back side, there's probably at least 20, 22 pieces on that pallet. I've never sold luggage though. I don't know how the, well that'd really sell. There's a grill. Grill pallet, $325, a vanity sink. Let me go back, oh yeah. They got, they got more grocery pallets back here. We've got these two and that one over there. We've got more grocery pallets. So here's one for $450. I've already claimed this one that was over there. Oh, this one's got a lot of canned goods on this one. You got some butter popcorn right there. Then another $450 grocery pallet. 
There you got, there's a whole thing of like uh, cooking oil. There's crackers. And cereal. We've got cake mix, like a whole box of cake mix. It's like a lot of this stuff right here, uh, let's say if you have a garage sale, flea market booth, this kind of pallet would be fantastic, like a flea market booth. Because let's say this pallet right here, 16 or total of 18 boxes, let's even say 20 pieces per, per box, at even like two bucks a piece. Yeah, you're making money on this pallet no matter what. Here's an entire pallet. This one here might be really good. 400 bucks, this one's full of air conditioner units and like a mini fridge. This actually would be an excellent pallet to purchase, let's say if you live near college, ta college town and you've got college kids that need off campus air, air conditioners and mini fridges, boom, you can make some money on this pallet. This actually would be this kind of pallet. You could buy it now since summer's done, hold all these back till next year and break them out and you know, 100 bucks a piece, 75 bucks a piece, make that money. We got another grocery pallet. Please look, but do not tear through the pallets. Here we've got some mac, a whole box of mac and cheese. Some more Velveeta. We got some crunch, ooh, got some Oreos. Got snacks back there. We got some Raisin Bran, Wishbone. It actually looks like a pretty good pallet, actually. This grocery pallet actually looks pretty good. Here's like a sealed mystery box here. Can't even see in it. Straight up mystery. Straight up mystery box. Sealed $65 box, cannot see what's in it, do not know. Complete mystery what's in that box. Their mystery box here actually getting kind of low. I'm sure they're probably about to replenish all their mystery boxes with some new product, I bet. It's getting a little, little on the low side. Are, are you gonna buy that box? Yeah. It's a total mystery, so that's, so, so that's for your channel. It's for my channel. For oh, we can't share, okay. Oh no, this is all me. <laughs> yep, we're going so we're, so we're gonna, gonna get a pallet, Get a mystery box, clean it up. So we got the food pot outside unloaded. So now we're gonna load up this whole pallet into the back of my truck one box at a time. And we'll be going through doing probably maybe three videos on this. Probably do, or maybe even four. Maybe like <laughs> the wife was trying to, she was I trying to be funny. It. Oh, she's, she's hungry. Nom, nom, Don't touch my food. Ooh, pickles. Pickles. You're a pickle. Why, I'm hungry. Why is it squishy? Because it's pickles. So we might do this in maybe like four videos, oh, maybe like a layer pickles. per video, I'm thinking possibly. I'll do something like, like that. Because I mean, these boxes, each box will take a while to go through each and every single box. So we might end up doing like two, vi two videos, my channel, two videos, her channel, just see see how it goes. But yeah, we're gonna start loading this thing up and let's do this. First layer-ish done. I got attacked by a bug. She got attacked by a bug. It was the greatest thing ever, kind of. It wasn't caught on camera because I screamed like a little girl. Like a little girl. So far though, I've seen so much good stuff on top of these boxes. Like here we got a whole thing of like raviolis and freaking Czech cereal. Oh, and there's those snack cracker things. And snack crackers. And so far this, ooh, we got some crunch, some all berries. That cereal's awesome. So far these have actually been some really good, good boxes. Just got the best box ever is full of a case of water and Rice Krispie Treats. Or with our M&M Rice Krispie Treats. With M&M Rice Krispie Treats. That's Yum. awesome. That's awesome. A little preview so far. Got six more boxes to load up. I'll help you down, baby. Oh, you're so generous. Rah. So that's everything. That is a total of 24 boxes loaded up in the back of the truck. Just picking through the top of these boxes, I actually saw a lot of really, really good stuff. Lots of cookies, treats, I mean, snacks, I'm dipping just sauces. I'm going to say right here. Oh, yeah. That this might box be is full of powdered donuts. Heaven on earth right there. Freaking powdered donuts. Like, does it get much better than a box of powdered donuts? I'm excited about that. We got Twinkies. <gasps> Twinkies! Freaking Twinkies. We got Twinkies and powdered donuts. Okay, that's, that's kind of... Very, very exciting. It doesn't really take much to 
to excite a person that's overweight, it doesn't really take very much. Just a little bit of food, and we are very happy people because the endorphins are going crazy right now. So we're gonna head on home uh, and might even shoot maybe the first video or something. So come along with us and we will do a video here very shortly. Bye, see you soon.